Hey violinist, Eric from The Violinist here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to clean your violin case with some household tools. I have some delicate dish soap. I have some water. I have a used toothbrush and we will also use a vacuum cleaner and a soft cloth. So let's get started. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this used toothbrush just to get any excess dirt off the top of the violin case. We're actually going to be working our way out to in, in terms of cleaning the actual violin, violin case. What we're going to do is just do a dry clean using the toothbrush, just get any extra uh, lint or any extra dirt that will make it easier for us to actually vacuum the top of the violin case. And in the next step, I have some tape here because sometimes a, even a strong vacuum cleaner may not be able to get the extra dirt off of the violin case. So in an effort to dry clean the top of the case, I'm just using some tape just to get some and you can see how filthy it is. So then you're going to do that throughout the entire case. Use your toothbrush throughout the entire canvas of the exterior of the violin case. You work your way from the top to the side and all the way to the back. The next step is to vacuum the outside of your violin case. Now I have a high performance vacuum, but you can use any handheld vacuum that does the job. I just like to be a little bit more thorough, so I'm just using the vacuum that I have, which is a Dyson. Not everybody needs to have a Dyson clean their violin case, but it does help because um, it is a high performance vacuum. So what I'm doing here, I'm just being really thorough. I'm going uh, vertically, sideways, I'm getting all the corners. Um, so I can get all the dust out of the exterior of the violin case. Now, once we have dry cleaned our entire exterior of the violin case with our vacuum, now we're gonna wet clean the exterior of the violin case. And what I'm using is just a toothbrush, as I mentioned before, and some light dishwasher soap. And I have a cloth nearby. And what I'm doing, I'm using gentle strokes to get all of the exterior of the violin case. So you wanna be really gentle, you know, dab um, with the cloth as you go, you know, with either a padding motion or just like soft strokes. And to me, this has been a, a good method, you know, you go section by section, of course, do it gently, each section of 
your violin case may be a little different with a different material. This is kind of like a canvas feel, so I figured that I was comfortable using it with my case, but always use your own discretion with you know cleaning your own case. And originally I had a paper towel, but that didn't seem to do the trick. So I actually got myself a, like a dish rag and that seems to absorb more water and create less residue from the paper towel. So have a dish towel nearby that has, uh, I found that to be pretty helpful. What's great about these Negri cases is that they have like the little N logo on the corners. So I want to make sure those are nice and shiny. I'm just still using my, my toothbrush and I'm using a dishcloth just to, you know, damp, get the moisture out. And you definitely want to dry out the, the wet part of the violin case after you clean it, just so that way you're not building um, any, any mold because you do have water going into some of the wood this is a wooden case after all you want to make sure you are absolutely thorough in drying the case that's why i'm saying that you want to do this pretty gently with the brush you don't want to add too much water to to cleaning the violin case and then you would repeat this process with zippers with any of the metal parts you know very gently you don't have to do a lot just a little bit will get the job done it's definitely going to be a lot better than what it was before trust me so it doesn't look so dirty on the you know on the video but you know in in real life in person it did have some dust it did have some 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 dirt so just trying to get as clean of a violin case as possible and in the back i have the the negri logo on the corners of the instrument that's where i would usually put my backpack straps but even though nobody's going to be seeing those, just you know, want to be really thorough since I don't clean my violin case often and you may not have cleaned your violin case in a while too. So might as well be very thorough during the job. Now for the difficult part, we're going to be cleaning our violin case inside in the interior parts. Now I'm still using my toothbrush and I'm gently loosening the dirt off the violin case. I don't know when the last time this violin case was cleaned. So I'm just trying to just loosen all the dirt that's possible in case, you know, the, the vacuum doesn't get it. And then we're going to also vacuum the inside of the rest of the violin case after we dry clean this with the toothbrush, loosen all the dirt and we'll get to wet cleaning in a moment. Once we are done dry cleaning, then we are going to use our vacuum. And to be honest, if you're not comfortable with cleaning your violin case on the inside with you know, a wet toothbrush, then this actually will do just fine. And you can actually just finish watching the video right over here. But if you're still interested in how I cleaned the inside of my vinyl with a wet toothbrush and how I 
manage to you know get all that dirt out then continue watching towards the end of the video and you can see that even just by gently using the vacuum cleaner I am getting a nice little finish which you know kind of looks like a brand new violin case if you ask me just by doing a little bit of work um, on, a, on a weekend where you're not gigging or you know you have a bit of time on your hands this is a great solution you know you can see that the vacuum cleaner is getting all of that interior cleaning out Great, so now we are going to clean the interior of the violin with the water and the toothbrush. So I'm just going to mix with a soft, uh, soft toothbrush with the dish soap that I have. And I'm going to go very gently with the, with the violin case. Now I'm not putting a lot of water in. I'm just doing enough so that I can just make the violin case smell really clean. And I'm always using my cloth to get the moisture out. I definitely don't want to have any moisture trap inside the violin case. That's no good. And then eventually, you know, you just repeat the process. You know, go every little corner and you're going to go every single bit inside the violin case. And just to be safe, I'm vacuuming some of that moisture and dampness out. It feels like I might have done a little bit too much on the wetness part of the cleaning. So I was a little paranoid, to be honest. So I just try to get a vacuum. But it looks like it's going to dry up in the room in which I'm cleaning the violin case in. So again, you're just going to repeat this process in every single little corner. Try to be thorough. Don't be too aggressive. I think naturally with the dish soap, you're going to you know, loosen all the dirt and then eventually you're going to continue cleaning this in other areas. You're going to be cleaning this with a vacuum afterwards so that way you get um, a nice clean finish and a nice scent in your violin case. It may not be a strong scent to be honest, but you know, it will at least have like a cleaner looking feeling to the case. You may notice also that in this case, there's a bit of silk where you place the bows. I'm being very gentle. I'm actually avoiding that uh, that place just a little bit so that way I don't scratch the silk. I want it to have a clean finish, so I'm going around there. And of course, I'm going section by section in the middle, all around the violin case. You know, really take your time on this so that way you're not, you know, spilling around your case. You definitely don't want any extra water dampening your case and then you would go ahead and vacuum the rest of the, the violin case in which you already you know wet cleaned with your toothbrush to be extra thorough I have another extension for my vacuum cleaner to get all the corners out before I damp clean the interior where the violin sits and is stored in the case but I just want to be completely certain that I get all the little cricks and crannies. Normally, you get a lot of rosin buildup from you know cracked rosin or anything like that. So you just want to be completely thorough in, in the cleaning process. And now I'm going to damp the area where I put my shoulder rest, which looks really, really nice. And I'm also going to be doing the inside of the, where the violin is sitting. Okay, that looks clean to me. And now I'm just going to do another pass with the vacuum. Make sure I am very thorough. You can, you know, this is where your violin is going to be stored. So I want to make sure this part of the violin case is extra clean. So I'm going to be extra thorough. I'm going to vacuum upwards to the side around 
the corners of the violin shape and in, and also just make sure I get a little bit of that uh, that vacuum area which I might have overdone with the with the dampness with the toothbrush so I'm just gonna do that again and look even if you vacuum the violin case even if you do it vertically like this you can see already that the violin case looks way cleaner this way Now, once I have vacuumed the rest of the violin case, I do acknowledge that there might be some wet parts, but even at, throughout this, this cleaning tutorial, the, this part has dried up a bit. So don't put your instrument right away inside your case. Make sure it dries out for like an afternoon or a morning, preferably either in a warm room or if you live in a climate that's pretty dry, you can kind of you know, leave it in your room, just let it dry on its own. But I had a heater on with this case in, so you want to make sure you are not putting your violin in a wet case. But there you have it, a beautiful, clean violin case. Like and subscribe.